Hey folks, wanted to come to you today and uh, share with you uh, the most unexpected place to find answers. And it's silly because all ancient wisdom says where to go inside. And so what I mean by that is, uh, you know, one of my you know healing testimonials, which you may have seen, you know, a guy by the name of, uh, well, I won't tell you his name, you'll find it, but um, you know, he's got uh, arthritis, or rather had arthritis. Uh, you know, this guy's former, you know, combat soldier, elite combat soldier, and uh, said that he had significant, you know, uh, impact on his life because he couldn't work out, right? Couldn't go to the gym. Well, three days after our session, he sends me a testimonial saying, hey, man, this is my third day at the gym, and I'm putting weight up. Right, that arthritis that was having a significant impact is gone, like gone. I had one, one hour long session. Do you know anyone that you can spend an hour with and then your arthritis is gone? Anyway, he goes to my gym. So uh, I've been, you know, talking a little bit to the people who, uh, you know, go to or who work at my gym. And the other day came and shared with you about the guy who was really pissed off at me. And then uh, this past Sunday, uh, he uh, came and apologized. I wouldn't have even been there had I not been doing my healing meditation, which I do because I found the power from within. Well, then I was able to share with uh, you know the uh, gentleman who works there by the name of Rhino, uh, who came to inform me about uh, you know what this madman you know uh, um, was upset about, and I was able to tell him afterwards, like, hey, you know that guy who was really pissed off at me. Well, yeah, I had him crying within five minutes, man. I helped him let go of a lot of that bullshit that he was working on, and uh, and Rhino, well, sent me his phone number, right? Because I told him about my healing, and he's like, well, dude, that's really interesting. I've heard of that. I had a friend of mine who did something that you know maybe is similar and uh you know we should chat i was able to send him the testimonial of the elite combat soldier right that uh i healed and so now i can start getting that network going people talking like oh wait wait a minute this is real i mean i sure didn't know it was real when i first got told you know i felt uh, a lot like uh, dr strange and uh what mordo Right when he first got introduced, and he's like, you know, I thought this would be a little bit more calmer Taji. He's like, yeah, I too was disrespectful. Well, yeah, <laughs> but how do you not be? You know, when it's when bizarre, uh, sometimes the only thing we can do is laugh. And uh, well, who's laughing now? Uh, I am. I had a guy who wanted to murder me. <laughs> Turned him now to like a, a super pal. I saw him just this morning, and I was leaving the gym. I uh, gave him a little bit of encouragement, fist bump, you know, and uh, yeah, six foot four behemoth on my side. Yeah, sounds like a good good place to be. Uh, but then more than that, just the word of mouth that, again, this is real, building a business, right? How do you start a business that nobody even knows that uh, it's real, that what you do? Well, you just start it. And then you go within. When you go within, and especially because I'm such a nerd with uh, the Tao, well, the Tao talks about Wu Wei, right? Uh, Non-action, which doesn't mean that you literally do nothing. It just means that you wait for the right opportunity to arise before you take action. It doesn't mean you don't cut wood. It just means that if you do cut wood, you cut across a grain where it's most easily to cut. That way you're using cleverness and intellect instead of brute force. And so if you want to find some unex unexpected wisdom Go within. Learn how to meditate. Right, even Sam Harris, uh, right, big fan of meditation, whether you like Sam Harris or not. Uh, and um, I suspect that if you start listening to your heart and less to your mind, right, because the devil's in the details, right, yan yan yan, right, thought thought thought, what our uh, what our mind does. But when you quiet those thoughts. You'll find you're probably a lot more powerful than you ever thought that you were. You probably have a lot more ability to do what you're looking to do than you ever thought possible. So let this be my uh, 
you know, my uh, public message, right, uh, to all. And, um, you know, part of what I have done, if you look here, well, this is a joker. Well, we all start at chaos. And right? now there's really no other rules. I have a quote that I created that in order to be good, you first have to learn how to do good. Well, this is an imposter. So it's Batman who's dressed up as uh, the scarecrow. Well, when you're growing out of chaos, you try to do good. But that good, the hell do we know, right? Often you're still riddled in chaos trying to be good. But as you learn and you aren't afraid from of mistakes and making mistakes, well, then you might actually find yourself carrying that torch of light. Right? That's Van Helsing from uh, Bram Stoker's. And when the most miserable time of my life, uh, when I had to crawl out of hell, I didn't realize at the time that Einstein said that uh, imagination is a true mark of education and mark of uh, intellect, rather, uh, and far more important than a formal education. Well, the Claire Quintet series, right? Catterley Bonaduce. That's who I effectively transformed myself into and who I am now. Well, what's the next step? Well, that right there is the White Lantern. And if you know anything about the White Lantern, well, he's mastered strength of will, strength of love, strength of anger, mastered his avarice. He's mastered every human emotional spectra in order to become his own God in his own right. When will that happen? I don't know. But it's not really for me to know when these things will happen because I certainly didn't realize that I could turn into Catterley Bonnetus. I didn't realize that healing was a real thing. I thought that uh, it was kind of a cockamamie thing that uh, people just talked about. And people in Reiki circles are like, hey, I just say some words and then you feel a bit better. Hey, look what I did. Uh, but legitimately removing pain from the body. Yeah. That's what's up. These are some things that maybe you can find just by going within. Not that you have to follow my path, but out of your own chaos. You might find your own stupid way to interact in the world to figure out what good is so you can actually be a bearer of light, be that which you need to be in order to propagate that greatest idea of goodness that you can believe in. Then maybe one day you and I can become something even greater. Sounds awesome, yeah?